Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Shattered Glass Goldbug. Now, Goldbug here is yet another reuse of the Earthrise Cliff Jumper mold with a new head, but man, he really looks cool, so I had to pick this guy up. I'm really liking what the Shattered Glass Autobots look like. I just really dig that new evil color scheme. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. We got Transformers, Shattered Glass, Goldbug there in robot mode. And th these little ones crack me up because there's just so much wasted packaging around this figure. We got some fantastic artwork of Goldbug here on the site. Back of the box, gold bug in robot mode and vehicle mode. This side of the box, more great artwork. And I really dig the unique look of these boxes. Now, gold bug here came from Hasbro Pulse, which came with the exclusive comic. And unlike Blur, this comic is sealed in plastic with a light cardboard backing to help protect it. So much better than the Blur comic, which was just bouncing around. So now, without further ado, let's get this bug out of the box and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Goldbug all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. But by now, you should know how to transform this guy. He also comes with all the pieces to his bazooka, which all of this mold comes with. But in this packaging, all the pieces are separate, so you can put those together however you choose we'll just go for the bazooka right now get that all attached with a little bipod here so there you go now i do like the blue tip on the bazooka this time usually they're just a solid collar like you see here with these examples but with gold bug you get that nice blue tip and of course, you have Goldbug himself. Now, as I said in my intro, Goldbug here is a repaint of Earthrise Cliff Jumper with a brand new head sculpt, just like Generation Select's Hubcap and Generation Select's Bug Bite and Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Bumblebee. And I guess you could count Netflix Bumblebee as well, even though it's not the same exact mold. Now, taking a closer look at Goldbug himself and that new head sculpt, the head sculpt looks fantastic and very much like Generation 1 Goldbug. Great paint applications with the blue helmet, the red eyes, and the silver mouth. But what I don't get is the blue. Why did they color the head blue. The only other blue on the figure is there for the windows, which I don't like at all. They're a light blue translucent plastic that you can see the neck hinge through or the neck joint. And I think that looks terrible. I'm really hoping that Toy Hacks can fix that up. Taking a look at Buzzworthy Bumblebee here, 
the same thing. You got the translucent window that shows all the innards, but with that yellow neck joint on Goldbug, it really, really stands out. He does have nice gold accents there on the shoulders, kind of yellow gold hands, and down here on the feet is some great paint applications with the gold pinstriping, bumper, lights, and the air intake right there. None of the other versions of this mold had that many paint applications, but we'll see that more in vehicle mode. He also has a purple Autobot logo right there on the chest. So the figure looks really, really good. I just, I wish he had more gold. I would have much rather preferred the blue head be gold. I mean, his name is Gold Bug. I understand it's shattered glass, but he needs more gold. Hopefully, Toy Hacks will give him some decals, kind of like they did Generation Select's Bug Bite, to maybe give him some gold tribal designs. So that is pretty much it for Gold Bug in robot mode. Not going over the articulation because you've seen the articulation before in all the various other versions of this toy. So now let's take a look at Gold Bug in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, Shattered Glass Gold Bug looks really good. I like the paint applications on this vehicle. Lots of gold pinstriping that you saw in robot mode along with gold here up on the hood, gold there for the lights, the bumper, there for the rims on the back with the spoiler and the back bumper. It looks really, really good. But once again, the blue is a big detractor. I guess you got this painted blue here that just does not blend in with the translucent blue for the rest of the windows. You know, plus you can see on the inside. Not a big fan of translucent plastic. If you watch my channel, you know I hate translucent plastic. One of my friends actually made the comment that I had a translucent plastic hate boner. Well, my hate boner is raging for this figure because I think that looks terrible. It just, it just doesn't blend in good with the painted window here on the back. Now, if the rest of the windows were painted this same color, I think that would look a lot better. But enough complaining about the windows. Rest of the vehicle looks really, really good. I dig it. Lots more gold in vehicle mode than robot mode. And I'm going to bring in Buzzworthy Bumblebee so we can take a look at the comparisons between the two. Now, the Buzzworthy figure is the one I don't have any toy hacks on, so easier to compare these figures straight out of the package. Lots of extra paint details on gold bug here. Now notice though with Buzzworthy with the black windows it blends in better with the black painted window on the rear. So windows look good on that one not so much here but still not a bad looking vehicle mode at all aside from the windows. So there you go gold bug in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Shattered Glass Goldbug with Generation 1 Goldbug, War for Cybertron Netflix Bumblebee, and I'm really, really hoping that we'll get a Generation Selects Goldbug. Just take Shattered Goldbug's head and put it on the Netflix Bumblebee body, collaring gold, and there you go. Shattered Glass Blur and Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Transformers Shattered Glass Goldbug is a pretty awesome little figure to add to your Shattered Glass collection. As I've said earlier, I love the Shattered Glass Autobots. I just like their color schemes so much better than the Decepticons. Granted, Goldbug's color scheme leaves a little bit to be desired. I'm not a huge fan of the blue helmet, and I despise the blue tinted windows. They just really take a lot from this figure, and I really hope Toy Hacks gives us a decal set that really improves this guy, like they've done with the other versions of this mold. But still, I like this mold. I like the fact that we finally have a gold bug after all these years, and I really hope that we get a proper Autobot gold gold bug. So there you go, guys. Transformers, Shattered Glass, Gold Bug. So, does a Shattered Glass Gold Bug belong in your collection? 
Well, if you have the other Shattered Glass Autobots, absolutely, this is a decent enough figure. I mean, he looks good. He's going to look good with the rest of your Shattered Glass bots. He does have his faults, though. Robot mode, I like it, but there's not enough gold. And, of course, I'm not going to harp on the translucent windows again. Vehicle mode, I like the looks of vehicle mode with all the gold accents and pinstriping. But then again, you got that translucent windows. Now, I'm really, really hoping that Toy Hacks will come out with a set to vastly improve this guy. I can almost guarantee that they will. So I can't wait to see what they can do with this gold bug figure. And that being said, how cool is it to finally get a gold bug figure? Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I get to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members. It's support like yours that help this channel keep growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo -ah! Also, if you want to know how long it takes me to do a video, compare my facial hair at the intro to now.